Hello everyone, Pixel here, and today I, I'm going to make a video describing how the pickup coil works and, and how it's one of the most amazing things for recording direct audio. If you cannot take things apart, at the moment I have a microphone plug, plugged into my DM7 Olympus recorder, which is what I'm currently using, and the one I use for practically everything. And then I've got like a splitter coming out of it, which is going to the microphone and the coil. So you should be able to hear me talk and and record at the same time. Now this cable, if I remember correctly, is a bit odd because this microphone was not the most expensive microphone I'm using right now. So how does it work? How does the coil work? It basically records electrical impulses from the speaker of any item or just anything. Um, they originally were made for telephones, but they never... Well, I, I guess you can use them for that, but but I don't. Uh, you can also use them for recording stuff, like the workings of a technological device. So if I bring the coil close to my recorder, you can hear that it's making noise, and it's a kind of weird sound. That's the first thing not to do with the coil, is keep it as far away from the recording device as you can. Um, you can also, you know, bring it next to common things like a phone, and it will... Well, you guessed it. It will make the sounds coming from the actual uh, hardware and software, mainly the software, so it will pick up things like that. Another thing to note, uh, if you're recording anything with a motor, it won't work. It will, not unless the thing has a test mode. Um, do any of my iDogs have batteries in them? That's the question, because I want to show this off. Let me just pull out a robot. Turn this microphone off for a second. Okay, here we are. So if I... If I stick this, the coil, to the iDog, and turn it on, if I just stick it right to the front, and turn the iDog on, you will hear that it's picking up literally everything. Now, even if I put it right up close to the speaker, this does have a suck. <laughs> and you will hear that is far too loud. So yeah, the, this isn't the most efficient way of recording robots, especially iDogs. Yeah, this isn't the most efficient way of doing it. Let me turn this thing off. Let me... Okay, and now... So, so that's the things that kind of it can't do. It also can't do things with excessive amount of light sounds. So if we take, for example, a very common example of this is the, if any of these have batteries in, the Simon, the Hasbro Simon Micro Series. I don't think any of mine have batteries in right now. Or a game like, I don't know, um, the Rubik's Slide over here. You will hear in a moment it has constant light ambience. Press this here and turn it on. You will hear that the lights, depending on what you're doing, will distort the sound, not unless you bring it close up, even then you can hear it. Um. Distorts and overblows audio, which, yeah, it's not too great. Now, let me get into an actual toy that I have been meaning to record, but I haven't got around to doing it yet. Let me do that real quick. Oh, right from this top box. And it is the Fisher Price Linkamore's Moose. And now, this thing. Uh, another thing with the coil is. Whatever you're doing, 
Uh, there we go. My microphone's a bit better now. I might have to do some volume adjustment in this recording. I don't know. One th another important thing about the cor uh, the recording with the coil is make sure you're using a device with. Well, make sure you're using a device that has monitoring capabilities. So I don't think Android devices work with it. I could be wrong, but I don't think they do. So I just stick with a, a voice or a sound recorder just to be safe. Now, if I mute this microphone now and put the moose up to the coil up to the moose's speaker, you will you will hear that it is slightly distorted. So let me do that real quick. Hello. Or you know, it <laughs> won't pick up sing. any noise. Well. Hello, friends. How are you today? Okay, so are this is this is okay. And you'll hear it's the audio is slightly compressed, but there's day. nothing the you can do. <laughs> if I try to mute this again, Moose yeah, it, so you, don't you? <laughs> it's weird. The way I have it set up at the moment is kind of weird, but this toy just inherently sounds weird by itself. This doesn't, it's, it doesn't actually sound too bad. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Yeah, this is Seven, another thing eight, I nine, ten. Count with me again. Um. One, two, three. So yeah, this is, seems four, to be, five, this six. seems to be okay. Seven, now. eight, nine, ten. Count on being friends. You can always... I can always turn that switch off. You are very correct. Now, one thing I will say is that this doesn't work on everything, especially if the toy you're having to record has a like a soft exterior like the MyPal Scout, or let me grab this thing real quick. Uh, it's this teddy bear I have that I bought at a charity shop recently. I, I went there and found some stuff. Now, the problem with it is, is that, well, oh, hello, hello there, my pal Scout. Where is it? Can you shut up, Scout? You probably, here, okay, here, here, here it is. So, you'll be able to tell with this. Again, I don't know how well my audio is coming out in this recording. This is just a test. It is, let me turn the coil back here again. We'll plug it back in. Um, so this thing doesn't natively sound that great. Because, well, it's got all this padding around it. So let me turn it on and show you what I mean. So you see, it's not really coming out too well. I mean, you can, but it's very quiet. So what I do with anything soft is I so open battery bay thingy, and then I take I take this section out, and then I cut a hole just big enough for the coil, so that and that's coming from the microphone, not the coil. And then I made a hole so that the coil can sit flush up against it. <laughs> like this. And now you'll hear it might be a bit loud, but this is sometimes the best you can do with these kinds of toys. I love cuddle. You hear they're much, cl much clearer. I'm Sandy, the teddy, I'm hungry for more honey. I love lots of cuddles too, especially if they come from you. Yeah, you hear they're much clearer than have it on the back, which would make it sound like this. Give me five. <laughs> make, it, make it sound quiet. Clap, clap, clap your hands too. Clap, clap, clap with me. 
Let's back on the speaker there so you can hear it. You can hear there's a very clear difference. Uh, what else was I going to say? Oh yes, uh, if you have a toy that has volume, always make sure that the toy is at the lowest possible volume it can be. Oh no, oh, don't do that. That's something I should not have done. Is move the recorder too close, otherwise you'll hear that noise. Um, now, I will talk a bit about once you have done the recording, if it is on, of course I have mine, mine is just going to be in mono for the sake of this recording, but nine times out of ten you will hear that the recording's in stereo, and only coming out of the left channel, so that's not too great. Uh, you just need a simple audio editor to convert the video or audio file from from mono uh, stereo to mono, really. Sometimes you'll need to make adjustments to things like auto gain, which if you have a device that supports it, turn it off, otherwise the recording will sound odd. And then there are times as well when the recording or where you you can't do anything because the speaker just naturally sounds tinny and odd. Uh, in that case, you uh, it, it would sound better if the recording would be resampled to around 11,025 hertz, which works primarily for most things. Uh, there was one other type of... One other type of toy, I can't remember what it was, that I was going to try and describe. Or... I don't know what it was. Um... Let me just pull out another example of... Oh, yes. Yes, I know now. I know what it was now. Uh, where is it? It's up here. Um, another thing is whenever you're recording with a coil, it's not completely uh, soundproof. You do sometimes get a bit of... You do sometimes get a bit of mechanical stuff. Let me turn this on. See here, that's at the lowest volume. But if I put the coil right near it, I don't need to feed it through this little gap where the speaker is. Thin, thin, a See so here, that it, it's coming through. As well, but How many do you know? Thin, thin, a ladder. You can still hear me spinning the wheel. Look all around. T. Thin, thin, a ladder. U. U. But yes, yeah, sometimes that will happen. I haven't found a letter, but I found the off switch. Let me turn it. Um. So yeah, that's that was basically just a video describing how the A171. That's the model I have. That's the model of pickup call I have. I've had mine for four months, and it's still going well. You can you can find them for around. Four ninety nine. I think I got mine for something. Can you? Oh, this cable is. Like I said, the microphone I'm using is not anything to be proud of here. Um, I'm just kind of working with what I have. But yeah, the a pickup coil you can find on eBay, Amazon, a lot of places. No, I'm gonna have to start cutting things out of this recording because this cable seems like it's just about to die, which. Uh, yeah. I guess I, I should have said, um, you know, before I started the video, uh, if you hear any noises that sound like this, then if you hear anything that sounds like this, then it's because I'm using a crappy... I, I can't even remember, so I'm using, like, this microphone that has... It's, it's like, naturally a 6.5... Uh, jack, but then I had to buy a converter for it, then I have it going into a headphone splitter, then I have it going to something else. So yeah, um, it's not, it's not advisable that you do that, of course. I might do this, uh, in future setups for things like reviews. I don't know. But yeah, that was, uh, just a basic, basic little video on how how to record with a pickup coil, things you should do, things you shouldn't do. And and yeah, I will, I don't know if I will or not, but 
that you can tell uh, if something's been signal tapped, which is taking something with... Uh, it's like taking something, putting a headphone jack on it, or connecting wires to the speaker, or something like that, uh, versus a pickup call, which is just naturally pulling audio from from it without having to take the thing apart. Which is good because, yeah, this this device, it, you know, it's uh, it's great that more people are getting these now. But yeah, that was just a a short demonstration on how to use the pickup coil. I hope this was of some some help. And uh have fun with the recording all the amazing uh, all the amazing stuff out there.